how's everybody doing? I uh, hope everybody's safe. Um, it's a really nice day here. They did put the stay in place order uh, for New Jersey. Um, I'm gonna show you a couple of the really cool treasures I picked up. I got this uh, awesome, uh, I guess it's a plate out of a book, but it's the solar system. Um, you can see the sun. Uh, I just got to think it's from the 1500s, maybe a little later. Uh, you can see the engraving plate pressed in. Uh, really, really unique. I got this out of an estate in uh, Princeton. Uh, I think it was a year and a half ago. It looks like it's signed TWF. Um, but I'm not sure, uh, I'm not sure of the age. If anybody can, if anybody's seen this before or knows what it is, send me a message. Uh, the other thing I bought, and I got this recently, I bought this with a friend, a friend of mine from, uh, at an auction. It is a Renaissance painting of, uh, Jesus. It's a uh, in a Victorian frame, but uh definitely has I don't know, the right look. The cracks in the paint are all uh all real old, but I like that he's got this weird globe or spear in his hand. I'm not sure uh sure what that is the the back of it you can see it's a dovetailed piece of wood um, with over here it's got a real early nail it was probably put in this frame uh, 40 50 years ago I uh, I maybe my earliest painting that I, uh, I have. So I'm hoping, I don't know if anybody knows the age, I'm hoping it, it's uh, early 1500s, but would be, uh, would be really interesting. Has a has a real familiar face. But those were the two things I, uh, I figured I'd show you from my collection. The other thing I, I found while I was in the warehouse, it's a great turtle bag, but uh, I found an old bag of my jewelry from when I used to go to uh, New York. Or it's about it's about a three four year old bag of uh, uh, jewelry. I figured I would separate the the costume, um, make a make a lot of craft jewelry for somebody to uh, to do crafts with. There's a nice bohemian style bracelet. This guy's junk. I don't know. I always, I don't like uh, anything plastic and stuff. I tend to just put in the trash. I'm gonna see how many different things I can pull out of here to list on eBay. Uh, separate some of the trash. This is a fun little enamel frog. It has a little snake on it. I know I can sell that online. Here's a here's a nice crystal rosary, or it's glass rosary. It's missing. Uh, I'm gonna have to replace the cross. Put the repair stuff right up here. But I think I should be able to get a 
decent amount of stuff to list or decent amount of jewelry to put as a, a lot online. These are uh, nice early milk glass beads. There's some odd shapes. I think that might actually sell as a lot. It won't go for a ton of money, but it is like those beads right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. I think I, think I can list that as one lot. This is like uh, real fine glass beads. Oh, I'm going to put that in the crafting lot. Kind of like a 19, 1970s pendant. Is this one sterling? No. This is the CBs. It's a tie bar for uh, one of the, like a cufflink. This actually looks really nice it's a uh, oh 800 silver it's like a nice uh celtic or mid-century design pendant i'll put the silver up here on this block this says sterling but no earrings with it and bag nice ab crystal flower birch it's got a i'll put that in the stuff to for somebody to craft with. Looks like a glass necklace. Another glass necklace. What is this guy? It's a nice piece of gold filled, but I, th I think the stone would be great for doing repairs. Um, the reason I knew this was, where are they? This was a bag from back then. Um, I used to repair a lot of jewelry to bring to the city um, when I set up on 25th Street. And this bag right here, the guy who I used to buy them from, he hasn't sold them in probably six or seven years. And I would lay these out and then use some of the higher end crystals in here to do repairs. Uh, but I got two of those to do work on my jewelry repair. And the best thing is, uh, I'm definitely going to have some time to fix all this, uh, fix all my uh, pins and stuff. So, nice watch face. I'll put that in the jewelry lot. One more of the other earring with that nice light blue stone. This is really nice. It's a hand carved uh, ring with sterling inlay. Uh, I mean, it's really small, but I do like that. Get this stuff out of the bags. Let's see what's in here. It's actually a nice little box. Um, I think I see right at the beginning. Sterling maple leaves with a little pearl. There's this horse pin, or I mean horse uh, medallion for uh, all American quarter horse. 1975 it's all enamel Columbus Ohio that would actually probably sell a line this is part of a sterling uh, definitely sterling and this either is gold filled or gold it's probably gold filled looking at the way it's worn right there but uh Nice little pile. I'm going to put the scrap silver and stuff right there. There's a little uh, 
rooster cock, uh, hat pin. Um, it says one twentieth, uh, 12 carat. So it's gold filled. I think that actually would sell. It's a nice, nice rooster pin. It's got some age and there's three, uh, little, I don't know, four, four little Masonic pins in here. 32nd degree Mason. I should almost see if that's gold. Let's unscrew it real fast. Be nice to find one little piece of gold in there here. I used to used to do fairly well with all these little small small uh, items in when I set up in the city, just because they would uh, they don't take up a lot of space and up there nobody had uh, room for anything. All right, I think that's another good thing to list. Nice uh, piece of, this is jadeite. It's a piece of like sea glass. Might be able to sell that for crafts. How you doing, kid? Some rhinestone necklaces. I think I'm gonna untangle these later. See if I can get this earring off. It's always tricky to untangle stuff with one hand. Everybody's probably like, go get a chest mount. Um, so this is a cufflink for the for that tie bar, the CB. Um, Here, big 70s pendant. Somebody had ten dollars on that. Nice enamel flower. It's got a broken stem though. I'm gonna say that goes in the craft jewelry. This is missing a stone and it has a bunch of dead stones. It's a cute little butterfly. But I'm gonna, before I put it with the craft stuff, I'm probably going to pop out a couple of these nice blue stones for uh, repair. So I'll put that up with the repair stuff. So let's see if any of these are gold. I have 15 bucks on them, but. This says gold filled on this guy. Another one's definitely uh, definitely not, but I'm gonna put that with my scrap. I might be able to use those pearls to repair something. A little piece of a micro mosaic bracelet or necklace, but definitely could use those tiles to repair one of the broken ones. Nice angel. A Reed and Barton pendant. Those actually sell well, but I think it'll go in this little scrap pile. Or craft crafting pile. Fun bohemian necklace. These tend to be silver sometimes. Let's look at the clasp. So I'm gonna say it probably isn't, none of the links are soldered. It's nice, long, nice and long. It'd be something to sell at the flea market, but I'm gonna stick it with the craft, the craft jewelry. What is this? It's a little wire wrapped cross. That's kind of fun. That almost looks like it's silver. Uh, is it going to come apart? I don't know if I can get it. Oh, there it is. Definitely a, a nice sterling wire wrapped cross. 
You can almost, you well, know, need a rosary cross. That almost looks like it's silver, but it's not. Early barrette. It almost looks like it could be gold filled, but I don't think so. With with the gold filled, I uh, been saving it for a while, and I take it to the the smelter, and they just closed all the gold uh, gold stores in Philadelphia, and I'm pretty sure all the gold stores in New York are closed too. So it'll be uh, a nice little rhinestone pin. Be interesting when I can actually have my gold filled smelted. I know it does sell very well on uh, eBay, but I kind of want to do a video on taking it to the smelter. Well, that one has a signature. I can only see the Geo looks like FF on the end. Missing one rhinestone. I'm gonna put it with the rhinestone necklaces and untangle those later. A little lot of watch movements, women's watch movements. These work really well in crafts too. I actually have a set of them listed on eBay right now. Nicholas, this looks like a. Yeah, it is. It's a sterling flower. Um, put that with the sterling. Definitely a nice little pin. And this is an AB crystal prong set, uh, Austria. I used to sell those for like 10 to 15 bucks in the city. Um, they still bring that pretty close to that online now. Nice earring. That's a fun uh, single cuff link. Um, safety pins. Hopefully, I used to sell a lot of cuff links uh, back in the day. Nice um, prong set heart pin. That's those, that will sell well on eBay. I've got a pair of those, but I'm going to put those hoop rings in the to be sold pile. Nice large sterling uh, earring back and another sterling mother and pearl pin. I'm actually pretty excited to get my uh, vegetables started. I know, uh, I think the frost date here is somewhere in May, normally May 5th or something like that, but with the way uh, the weather's going, it might be a little earlier. This is a really nice pin. Oh, it's a shame somebody uh, soldered the clasp on. It has, I can read the last three letters. M-A-Z is the last three letters, but it's made really, really well. I'm going to stick it in the craft pile. There's some not too bad stuff in the craft pile. Here's a... Oh, good. So I got, do have the full set of this CB uh, cufflinks with the tie bar. It's like, I forget what it's, the World War... It's from World War II. It's like the uh, Marine um, construction unit. I forget exactly. This reminds me of one of the last things I bought at the flea market. The accordion pin. Definitely, uh, definitely nice. This one is actually sterling. Marked right there. Really cool. Nothing like a good squeeze box. Uh, first, that's 
piece of sterling. All right, scrap pile is right there. Might get over an ounce of sterling. This is a really nice sterling and garnet pin. Mark 925. I think that might sell pretty well. I think that might be the best thing I grabbed so far to list online out of this bag. The other uh, safety pin cufflink. Let's see, is this Trafari? Yep, little crown Trafari uh, and pearl pin. Those those do fairly well. Brass S. Uh, I'm going to just save that, put it with my craft stuff. Another good prong set, uh, AB crystal pin. These are actually copper. I don't know what I, I'm gonna actually save those, maybe put them in with my craft stuff. I don't, never know when you need a nice little piece of copper. Sterling, uh, Sterling abstract pin. I don't know what they plate these with. It might be like a rhodium or something like that, but it's hard to polish out uh, once the plating starts to tarnish. But it is a nice little uh, abstract, probably 60s or 70s pin. Christmas tree. Another nice... Uh, rhinestone necklace. Be able to have a nice rhinestone le necklace. I've uh, got probably five or six in there now. I don't know the name of this stone. I'm pretty sure it comes from Israel though. It's marked 925. Uh, almost looks like a turquoise but it's not. It's got like the green and blue. This actually turns into a pendant also. It's a nice pin. A little uh, covered wagon, almost like the Oregon Trail. Marked right there, Sterling SB. I don't know who SB is, but I find a lot of silver. Used to used to have a lot of uh, nice pins, just because again in New York when uh, when you'd sell the square footage you figure we got probably if you sold these at 15 20 bucks a piece you got over a hundred dollars in less than a square foot and you, your booth wasn't that big and i used to have to pay two hundred dollars just to set up uh, another nice little bar pin i think that's yep that's sterling put that in scrap. It's kind of cool though. Cute little peacock pin. JBK, I'm not sure who that is. It's not made bad though. Nice little, uh, this all looks like silver chain. Wrapped up in this tree. This guy is it silver? Yeah, this one's silver too. Awesome. So, great little silver, uh, sterling silver bracelet. Let's see if I can get it off of this pin. There we go. like everything in there was silver so that's like a half ounce of silver right there so I, I got over an ounce of silver scrap now that with that and the gold filled beads there and this tree is actually kind of fun almost looks like a balloon tree signed joy j-o-y 
probably 60s or 70s. Another uh, sterling silver and uh, Native American watch band. Uh, it has it has like an odd signature. Don't know what that is. It's just an interesting hallmark. But with malachite, these do do well. I'll try to list that. This is a nice little sterling ring. Too bad it's got uh, one bead missing. I'll put that with the repair. I don't know if I'll find a little piece of turquoise or not. I do have a lot of stuff though, so never know. I'll put that with the costume. The costume uh, craft lots always seem to do pretty well. Nice little uh, cufflink with crowns. Here's a bag of cufflinks. Hopefully they're in here. Or hopefully they're matches or pairs. This is actually nice. Almost looks like it could be gold. $45 on it. It's a morning glory. See the two flowers and the leaves. Always like when uh, the jewelry designer makes makes it with the right leaf, uh, makes the flower with the right type of leaf. It is marked uh, gold filled though. It's, it is a nice little locket. I think that will do fairly decent. Um, there's a pair of uh, scarab and gold filled. Uh, Cufflinks, so that's three pairs of cufflinks. Here's a hunting scene. Up oh, here's the other one. So I got a pair of the pair of the guns, um, guns and ducks. Really like that agate. That says one twentieth, fourteen karat gold filled, and I do have a second one. It's really nice that they were able to match the two little uh, agate stones. Um, I think these are actually really nice cufflinks. Scotty Dog. Awesome. I have a pair of Scotty Dog snap cufflinks. Best thing about these is they're double sided. Um, I don't know. That might be better than the agate cufflink. Oh, and here's a pair of Snap uh, Terrier uh, cufflinks. And they're double-sided also. I don't know which ones out of these three. Well, actually, I don't. They're all really nice cufflinks. My old, uh, my first eBay name was uh, Sir Cuffs a lot because I uh, sold so many uh, cufflinks. I guess I only have the one of this guy though. Uh, but that's where I found if you online, if you let people, uh, have free combined shipping for multiple items, you tend to sell a lot more. At least what I, at least what I noticed, nice rhinestone cardinal it looks like. Yeah, they're not sterling. Another nice AB crystal uh, brooch. Oh, getting into the good stuff. Another sterling, and I don't know what the green stone is. It might be glass uh, with marcasites, but it's, it's a very pretty flower. I think so far I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight sterling pins. Nice owl. Owls always seem to do well for me online. Uh, fun frog pin. Oh, that's great. Found the other uh, cufflink for the three crowns. I'm not sure what the crowns are uh, for, but this one looks like the Ro Royal Air Force. Um, but 
I'm not 100% sure. Definitely, uh, they're definitely nice though. This looks like a sterling slash gold filled uh, ring. Put that. I could definitely use the pearls in, re in repair. This might be the nicest uh, rhinestone necklace. Oh, is it signed? No, it's not signed, but it is made really well. Definitely very, very pretty. Sun feels really good today. It would have been a really nice day for the flea market. I think the thing I'm going to miss the most this spring is going to be the yard sailing, though. I hope, uh, hope we can figure this out and things go back to normal sooner than later. Um... That's a piece of gold filled. This is another piece of gold filled. Looks like a, one of those little pocket watch holders. Uh, it's actually kind of a neat design. I think that will sell well. It has this hook right here for uh, your pocket watch chain to go on. Nice long, long chain. This is a little jadeite cross. Real early uh, American flag uh, pin. Probably from the 40s. These might be some of the nicest small buttons I've ever had. <laughs> Little, uh, look like a little guy with a beard. Victorian buttons. There's only four, but they would make like a nice little cuff link or I don't know. They're just super pretty. They're glass and brass. Let's see if, nope, nothing written on them. Just they were put together. There we go. It's a really pretty uh, enamel and f filigree butterfly. Mark 925. Put it with the pins. A little relic for. These Catholic relics always do well. The ones that do the best are the ones where they uh, take the saint and cut them up and stick them in these little lockets. I guess that's why it doesn't pay to be too good in the Catholic religion. Um, nice mouse with a wiggly tail. I had a friend who was cleaning out a church and in the basement they had a arm bone of one of the saints. I thought that was that was pretty crazy. Nice little poinsettia. Rhinestone uh, rhinestone button. I don't know what I'll do with that. I'm going to stick it with the repair right now. I know they sell fairly well. Some nice glass beads, but I'm gonna stick it with this jewelry lot. I always like the lucite flowers, hand carved. I don't know if I have the yellow one. I'll probably sell that. A happy Santa pin. Put that with the poinsettia for my Christmas pins. That's good for make a pin with that. Put that with the... What else we got up here? Um, just a nice little bracelet. Put that with there. This almost looks like it's sterling and onyx. I don't think so, though. Put that. Be 
seeds, a little piece of uh, sterling for the scrap. costume jewelry ring. Missing two stones. I'll put that with the repair. That would be nice if that was real. That would have been a huge ruby. Nice uh, nice rhinestone pin though. A uh, little uh, election pin. porcelain somebody made pins out of. That would have been nice if it was old. It's a costume uh, costume ring. I do like the locket with the, or I guess it's a watch case. Let's see if it's, it says uh, base metal. But it is very pretty. I don't know if there's any way to shut it though. I'll stick it with the craft jewelry. What is this guy? Uh, Joan Rivers. It's a Joan Rivers flower ring. It might do okay. That's a really pretty uh, cherry blossom and enamel. Oh, it's a David Anderson, Norway Sterling, 925S. Awesome. That actually will do pretty well. It'd be, it'd be really interesting what Sterling pin will do the best. The butterfly, the Anderson, the rhinestone, or my... I'd say it's going to be one of those three. I don't know. I'm going to try listing them. Ooh... Uh, sterling and turquoise uh, Native American uh, these have been doing really good for me the early uh, with the nice early um, turquoise that might actually do better than but it's between one of those four is my pick I think that's everything this is Sterling, a little religious charm. Uh, I guess that's that's about it. Hopefully, uh, we do pretty well. Count the sterling pins: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven sterling pins, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pairs of cufflinks. Um, definitely, it was a good. Uh, Good jewelry bag. I'm glad I found that in my warehouse. If you guys do know anything about the the Jesus picture, um, if you think I'm right about it being a, a Renaissance painting, I'm just going with. I haven't seen too many where they've dovetailed the board to keep it from warping. Definitely a. Uh, definitely has a neat look and if you guys know anything about this little uh, solar system picture send me a message everybody be safe out there if you haven't yet please uh, give it give somebody a call it's definitely can be a lonely time uh, I hope everybody is being safe and thank you very very much for watching uh, we'll catch everybody next video and please have a nice day. Peace. I just bought some uh, lavender. Friend has a nursery, so he dropped it off for me. It just smells so great. I think there's a couple of plants in there, so we'll be able to divide it up, hopefully. <laughs>